On today's episode, we're going to represent to you our homemade reciprocating cutting machine that serves numerous usage. Our goal was to emit a reciprocating saw the closest possible. Firstly, we've changed the electric motor bearing because they were both worn out and giggling so much. These motor use the same bearings as a motocross rear bearings. Then we've put a switch to turn the electric motor on and off as you can see. This switch come from a fan that got made and didn't want to turn anymore so we've scavenged some stuff from it. The switch is not controlling the speed of the motor but it is working here as a simple switch. These motor don't have much torque because they were designed to pump water. We've put out some weld on the main shaft of the electric motor so we gain thickness and then we've ground it out from one side so it developed an offset for our bearing. So when the motor turns the bearing revolves around the shaft. We've built the fixture for the motor so it is easier to use and more holdable. It is more as powered tool than a fixed motor as it was designed from the factory. This is the knife we're attaching to the motor. Of course this knife is homemade from a 3 mm metal sheet. The square slot is where the bearing revolves around the shaft and then the knife oscillates around the bolt which it is fixed to. The knife is connected to the shaft directly these bearings serve as spacers. Because the knife is oscillating we need to connect it with spacers nuts would stabilize it and we don't want that. I use dual nuts here to lock them into place without too much force into the knife for it to move freely. Here you see how the bearing revolves around the motor shaft and oscillates one end of the knife. The ratio of distance from the pin to bearing should be bigger than from pin to knife edge to have sufficient torque. 